Well, you've heard it here at first. And now, for the last time, I give to you HWH Season 8. I gotta say, we definitely had a nice run throughout this whole entire pacing. And while I'd say this whole thing was definitely not as good as what Season 7 had to offer, I really gotta say, the fact that Season 7's popularity has allowed Season 8 to be good, maybe not as much, I guess it's time to cap things off. Now, I've been waiting for months to open all of these cars up. And as you can see, we got a Hot Wheels City Mega Garage, which was basically not very recent of all the sets that exist, but I can at least tell you, from my own perspective, that I'm ready to try a few things out. If you probably can't already tell, this thing does, in fact, come with its own Hot Wheels car up at the front. This is basically a fast fish. Pretty much an exclusive coloring for this exact set. And from what I can tell, this garage can fit 35 cars at once. We're gonna set this guy up here with all these unopened packages, pretty much. 28 Hot Wheels cars all put together. Of course, that's not really enough to fill up the garage completely, but we're actually gonna do it. A few random five packs I put together along with an extremely rare Rapid Transport. Basically another bus model, kind of like Surf and School Bus and Hot Wheels High, and the more recent Ain't Fair. So, with 35 cars and a garage that can fit 35 cars, it is time to see for ourselves how this thing works. And with that, after following the instructions and about five minutes of getting everything put together, here it is, the Mega Garage. I feel like that this set truly is pretty unique in and of itself because, first of all, with some of the obvious portions on the outside, here we have ourselves a few extra bits that we do get to attach to it, basically as a means to connect to other Hot Wheels City track sets. But, probably one thing that I find really incredible about this is how it uses some sort of escalator system. Basically, each of these little carriages come by and you put two cars in each. Sort of, it's sort of like a Ferris wheel, basically. I mean, check it out. I mean, what's not to like about that? That's definitely presentation if you ask me. But, the whole purpose of that is so, two cars can come down these two lanes and then jump. Pretty much a leap of faith, if you will. So, you know what? I'm eager to put 35 cars in this whole entire thing and see how it all goes down. So now it's time. Let's begin unboxing each and every single one of these Hot Wheels models. With the exception of these seven because they're obviously out of the box.
with that, all 35 cars are gathered around, and I can sure tell you, lots of nice new models have been awaiting to be in the collection, and some are pretty much back in my collection after some time. Such cars like the 77 Plymouth Arrow, El Viento, the Brazilian Dodge Charger, the Thunderbird stock car, and of course, Astro Funk, and who could forget, Shark Bite, right over here. All 35 of them will be set in the garage now. So basically, all 35 known spaces on this entire contraption are basically occupied. So, as you can see, got all the elevator slots all filled up. Two cars in each carriage. So, we'll have ourselves plenty of times where they each get to go down the hill. But, everybody's going to be participating here. Even all the ones here at the top where the carrying handle rests. I probably wouldn't recommend putting cars there. Prefer picking it up with your hands. Whoa. Or that could probably happen. Just as a good example of, you know, some things that could be deemed barbaric or accidental. But anyways, time to cap off this season by allowing 35 cars to come down the Mega Garage with the finishing ramp down below. All right, now, here we go. We're gonna get started by launching these two guys pretty much right. Yeah, pretty much right around there. Seems just about right. But that's basically just one round because several carriages are in here. Let's go through all of them, pretty much. <laughs> that didn't work too well. Oh. Oh well. Oh! Now yeah, it looks like we got one that fell. <laughs> Let's move on though. And I guess I'm not really concerned about any of them that lose. We're just gonna have fun here. Oh, nice moving roller toaster. And all right, that'll pretty much do for those. Now let's focus on some of the rest that are elsewhere in this whole thing. So here comes another round. Whoa, that wasn't really intended. Ooh, that was smooth. Nice. That was a good one too. Nice. Oh, okay, it fell on the floor. Oh. That wasn't good. All right. Next pairing. Uh, okay. Last pairing. And go.
After all that's said and done, 26 full episodes of HWH are all complete. I'd say this Mega Garage is quite a satisfying finish. A nice unique way to store Hot Wheels cars of any sorts. But by any means, it does seem that some limitations are here, so maybe not everyone's going to be able to work with it. Nevertheless, I recommend that you get a hold of one. 35 cars, all kept in 35 spots on this whole structure. Complete with a little bit of fun right down the middle. And so, it's time for me to clean up one last time and take a bit of a break too, because other work is at hand. See you guys next time though, next month on HWH for season nine.